Sajja and today I'll be explaining the DNA structure and also the molecular structure of the deoxyribose sugar. So in a DNA structure there are four nucleotides, adenine, thymine, cytosine and guanine. And adenine only pairs with thymine and cytosine only pairs with guanine, just like how a car only pairs with the garage and an apple only pairs with the tree. So in this DNA model I created, green represents guanine and yellow represents um, cytosine and red represents thymine and A represents adenine. So these are anti-parallel, meaning that if there is a green here, then there has to be a yellow here. But if the yellow starts, then there has to be a green. There cannot be any color. And same with the red and the blue. A DNA structure is very similar to a ladder. So the nucleotides are like the rungs of the ladder. And the rails of the ladder are these black and white structures here. The white circles represent the deoxyribose sugar and the black tubes represent the phosphate. And DNA is in a double helix shape, meaning that it is twisted and there are two uh, DNA strands. So when the DNA replication happens, there's an enzyme that untwists the DNA, but for the most part, it will stay twisted. So here is the molecular structure of the deoxyribose sugar. In this model, black represents carbon, so it can um, bond three times, and red represents oxygen, so it can bond twice, and white represents hydrogen, so it can bond once. So DNA is read from five prime to three prime. This is one prime, this is two prime, this is three prime, this is four prime, and this is five prime. So Whenever something new has to be added to this molecular structure, it can only be added to the three prime area. It cannot be added to the five prime. And in this DNA structure, this molecular structure is the molecular structure for only these white circles. These are the this is the deoxyribose sugar. This is the model of the molecular structure, the model of the model of the molecular structure of the deoxyribose sugar. I am Audra and today I'm going to explain the CRISPR array. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Palindromic Repeats. This is a CRISPR array model that I created. So these small blocks at the top are nucleotides. The four nucleotides are guanine, cytosine, adenine, and thymine. This dark green is guamine. The red is thymine. The orange is cytosine. And the yellow is adenine. So the, for these bigger blocks, the orange larger block here is the palindromic area. So palindromic means that it's the exact same backwards and forwards. So it means that in DNA, it would be this um, five prime to three prime would read the same as three prime to five prime. So here it's green, orange, yellow, yellow, orange, and green. And here it's green, orange, yellow, yellow, orange, and green. So that means it would be guanine, cytosine, adenine, adenine, cytosine, and guamine. These green blocks here, the light green ones, these are the spacers. So in a spacer, the spacer is where the bacteria collects its memory. So these spacers are parts of the gene from the bacteria phage or the virus that attack the bacteria so that if that virus comes again, then the bacteria has this memory stored and remembers the virus so it can cut it apart and defeat it easier. So this always starts with the PAM region. The PAM region is, is a set of three nucleotides at the start of each spacer. The first two always have to be guanine. So here there's two guanine, there here there's two guanine, and here there's two guanine. And the third one can be whatever nucleotides. So here it's cytosine, here it's adenine, and here it's another guanine. So the PAM stands for pros, um, protospacer adjacent motive. And also, all the pattern making always starts with guanine. Okay. Pattern making always starts with PAM. So, if PAM is not detected, then the CRISPR array fails because Cas the Cas9 protein will not be able to cut apart the CRISPR. So, 
Here is a 20 nucleotide model I made as well. So this is a good number of nucleotides to have because if there's two less, then the same patterns will keep repeating over and over again. I also made this model of a 20 nucleotide CRISPR array. This is a good number to have because if there's two less, then the same nucleotides would be matched in many different places, which is not always good. But if there are too many, and if we add more, then see if you put this up, if, if, you, if you put this up right, then you can see how this is kind of turning a little bit here. And that's exactly what happens with the CRISPR, actual CRISPR array as well as uh, two, because then the, CRISP, the, the CRISPR array almost folds on itself, which will not let the Cas9 protein cut the CRISPR array accurately. Thank you. Bye, thank you.